I get it. I get it. Some jobs say that you can work remotely from home. Even schools are working remotely from home again. I get it. And then to go back to that place of business, it's like, why am I here? I, I, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't smell right. It doesn't have the comforts of my home. Or, or, or here's the thing. It doesn't have the comforts of, of that over there, the bathroom. But we got to get back to work. We, we've got to get this nation and this generation moving forward again. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Oh boy, it's cold in the Carolinas this morning. Dropped down to 55 degrees. It's been like 80s and 90s for the past three, four months. You know, the big heat wave. And then when you wake up on the second day of fall, you're waking up to 55 degrees. Your, your body's not even used to it yet. But I'll tell you what, that imagination of mine, though, is going, ooh, we can make this into a story. We can turn this into a book. Because things like this just really, really make the imagination just go, I got the power. Didn't they do a song like that? I got the power. Boom. Back in the 90s, I got the power. Boom. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. Today we're reading from September 23rd, 2021. Um, if you're a writer, you might be able to understand this. If you're not a writer, I hope you do understand this because somewhere along the line, you will pick up a writing instrument, even if it is your thumbs texting or if it's you on the computer screen. But but as as a writer, I currently stand on the corner of walk and don't walk. The daily writer cannot be compared to the nighttime writer that I also am. They are completely 100 percent opposite personalities. I think it's because the morning writer is peaceful. He wants to have a great day. Therefore, he's got to exercise his mindset. Whereas the nighttime writer, oh my God, he's digging into that that gory scene of spirits walking toward us. In other words, he isn't afraid to look into the eyes of the beast. Listen, we all have dark sides to our personalities. We all have mood creators. Opposing them in the morning light isn't a good choice. I don't think it's good at night either, but he seems to take swipes that do kind of scare the morning rider. It's become my early morning mission to sift through what the nighttime rider put down on paper. He wants to find the source of the dark energy. But is it for him to find out or the morning rider? In this moment of now, as insane as it might come across, I think I'm talking about three different people here. You've got the morning rider. You've got the nighttime rider. And you've got the podcaster. There's three completely different personalities being talked about right now. Am I the only one that goes through this as a creative mind? Please tell me that that I'm not going insane. Or are we going insane? How many people talk to you that you really can't see, but you feel their energy moving outward from you? How often do you find yourself going, yeah, that would be a good idea. Because it's that inner voice that is speaking directly to your soul or, or the voice is going, mm-mm, mm-mm, get your mind out of there. You're, you're not going there. Not today. And I think that's what the morning writer is versus the nighttime writer is that I know how I have to set up my day. I know the expectation of the day and I know what's on my Google calendar. So, but if I want to take on the beast at five o'clock in the morning, do you think that calendar is going to sit there and say, oh, I'm so sorry. It has no compassion for what needs to be levitated. Who are you when you write? When you read, who are you? Do the authors pour themselves into your imagination and does it change the way that you act and react? The emotions that we are as creative people, when you receive it on your side, where does it grow from there? I like that. See, the nighttime writer would be going, oh my God, give me a writing instrument. I want to write about what you're feeling and I can't see it. But what is the connection? I'm Errol, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.